the trauma rotation here is a really great early experience for PGY2s. You are essentially the chief of service. Uh, you work one-on-one -on -one with the PA who takes care of the day-to-day -day stuff, uh, interacting with the attending. Uh, you actually work very closely with our neurocritical care unit, uh, medically managing these patients as well, so it's a very good early learning experience as a PGY2. I'm currently actually on the University of Miami rotation as one of the threes. Um, and actually, it's probably one of the, my favorite rotations thus far. Things that make it great are really the fact that the diversity of cases that we have that come through there. We really work with all of our cranial and our spine attendings. And on top of that, we have the opportunity to really spend a lot of time in the OR as a PGY3. You're dedicated as a surgical resident on service, which is fantastic. One of the great things about the UMH rotation is the fact that we have six dedicated neurosurgical operating rooms that we run and flip over multiple times a day. And the cases that we get to do are pretty innovative. And what I would, if I could sum up the operative experience at UMH and the cases that we do, it's in one word, it would be pioneering. I'm rotating right now at Nicholas Children's Hospital, which is one of our best rotations. So uh, one of the highlights of the rotation is the amount of technology that we have available to us. We recently got a Rosa robot that we use to actually plan the epilepsy surgeries with the neurology team, with our attendings, and so your input is highly involved. Um, another highlight is that we have our own OR area just for neurosurgery, and there's an intraoperative MRI that we can just push our patient over to after our surgery is done, immediately get a post-op image, and that way the kid doesn't have to be reintubated for a full MRI after surgery. It's very uh, efficient and well done for the kid. I have the pleasure of talking to you guys about some of the research that we do in the department. Um, we'll be uh, mostly housed at the Lewis Pope Life Center, which is really the hub of the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis and the, and the Department of Neurosurgery. Um, it's really a multifaceted uh, environment where we have researchers that study both primary nervous system injury and trauma at the cellular level, and also researchers and clinicians that are working with patients to solve some of the most important problems in spinal cord injury and nervous system repair. Also, uh, translational studies that use things such as robotics for lower extremity uh, gait training, uh, as well as brain machine interface research, which is some of the work that I do. I think first and foremost, uh, education is one of the best resources we have for the residents here. Uh, every morning at 7 a.m., Monday through Friday, we have morning conference where we go through numerous neurosurgical cases that have come in uh, or that, that are being operated on by our attendings. We discuss pathologies and surgical approaches. So the Keynes Lab is a state-of-the-art facility that affords us with opportunities to perform multiple uh, cadaveric dissections and neurosurgical procedures. Uh, we have several operating microscopes that we can utilize for skull-based dissections as well as fluoroscopy and O-arms as well as neuronavigation that allow us to perform spinal procedures as well. Uh, it really is uh, an amazing opportunity for the neurosurgery residents to hone their skills.